What's good, y'all? This is Diz back with another video, you know what I'm saying? Should you have by the title of this video, I'm going to be paying homage to the first black players to ever be drafted and play in the NBA. I think the names are Earl Lloyd, Chuck Cooper, and I forgot the other guy's name, but I'll definitely put it on the screen, you know what I'm saying? I'll, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like, yeah, so like I said, I'm going to be paying homage to them because, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I've said all, always, you know what I'm saying? Basketball always been my first love, you know what I'm saying? So it comes to fun, yeah, because I think I heard about them. I think I watched a documentary called Black Magic, you know what I'm saying? Basically, let's talk about, like, you know what I'm saying? African American basketball from, you know what I'm saying? Historically, you know what I'm saying? Black colleges and, you know what I'm saying? To where they are right now, you know, so up against, you know what I'm saying? School like, you know what I'm saying, Kentucky and Duke and all that, you know what I'm saying? But that's saying back then, though, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the first black, you know what I'm saying, African Americans to play in the NBA is like, wow, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure they was met with, you know what I'm saying, a whole lot of racism and everything, but I mean, at the end of the day, hey, it ain't stopped them, you know what I'm saying? They still made history, you feel me? Then it wasn't like, you know, how, how it was with Jackie Robinson, like, he was the first one, he was the first and only one to do it at first and then, but you know, in this one, yeah, it's like. Three of them, you know what I'm saying? They <laughs> all doing it together, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, definitely paying homage to that. Because, like I say, you look at the NBA now, oh, yeah, we all over the place, you know what I'm saying? I think I read an article the other day. It was like, where has <laughs> all the white players in the NBA gone? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, they're there. It's just, I mean, hey, <laughs> black power, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's that soul. <laughs> we just took over the game, you know what I'm saying? So, but like, somebody be, uh, you know what I'm saying, checking out a little clip on, you know what I'm saying, all three of them, you know what I'm saying, as they made their transition into the NBA, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm going to get my personal thoughts and opinions afterwards, you feel me? So, like I say, definitely keep watching this. What I further do, we're going to get into it. On April 25th, 1950, okay, next clip then. Okay. That's the name. Okay. When the Boston Celtics selected Chuck Cooper in the second round, yeah. he became the first African American ever to be drafted. The Washington Capitals followed oh, Lord. and selected Earl Lloyd in the ninth round. And two months later, the New York Knickerbockers signed that sweet water Clifton, a star with the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, okay. Nice. It was great we had the great kind of personalities of the people of Earl Lloyd Cooper and Sweetwater to come. Really sweet. Who started this thing for us. He always said that he was on a mission to make it to the National Basketball Association. Oh, he had a son? Okay. Yeah, guys like Earl Lloyd and Sweetwater Clifton certainly made it easier for him during that season. I always defer to Chuck. I happen to be the first to play only because my team was scheduled to play October 31st, mm. and the Celtics played <laughs> November 1st. But truth believe, if Chuck had not been drafted by the Celtics, that given the racial climate in Washington, D.C. in 1950, there's no way the Washington Caps are going to step up and draft me. Next all shot from the side is off, and Lloyd rebounds. First African-American ever to play a game in the NBA. Earl Lloyd is, is one solid block of the NBA foundation. And he was just a great asset to the Syracuse Nationals. Clifton is the key man for the Knicks right now. Mike and his guardian, him, but Sweet gets past him for a marvelous underhand shot. Sweetwater, I remember he was very strong, about 6'5", forward, uh, tough defensive player, and, and a good rebounder, and a really nice guy. Hmm. While their presence didn't cause much of a stir amongst their peers, the three men still encountered racism on yep. the court. Most of our problems centered around restaurants and hotels. When I went in places where I ordered a meal, and they put it in the styrofoam tray, meaning that you can't eat it here. So I said, well, if I can't eat it here, I have to leave it here. But mm. that's just the way it was. You know what I did? I can't eat here. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't about to eat. And there are the two signs. One with an arrow pointing to where the colon well, went cool. to the restroom and the other for whites. And it was a moment in time where you're standing with, with a close friend. And you're embarrassed for the world, you know. You, you just don't know what to say. You don't know how to explain that type of overt stupidity. In addition to their sheer talent, the inner strength and fortitude required to integrate the NBA has made these three pioneers monumental figures in league history. Yep. Men that were selected, Earl, Cooper, and Sweets were men of great character. 
guys that management can say can handle the situation and go in there and hold themselves up and represent the organization the right way. They you have it on now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that the third guy was uh Nat Clifton, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I was like, dang, <laughs> I could not think of his name, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, definitely my apologies, you feel me? But like I said, hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Without them, bro, hey, shit. Man, like I said, you look at the NBA now, yeah, like we all over the place, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Basically, every it seems like every franchise player is is black, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Except for a couple of them, you know what I'm saying? Which, hey, I personally don't discriminate. It's like, yeah, I don't care what color he is. If you can play ball, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna put you out there, you know what I'm saying? But, but like I said, yeah, I'm sure they went through that, you know, so that racism and everything. But like I said, it was basically, you know what I'm saying, the hotels and, you know what I'm saying, Restaurants and all that, which you know, what I'm saying, it was unfortunate. That was common, you know. what I'm saying, basically, they had uh, they they can they can eat, but at the same time, they had to like take that food and like, like to go, you know. What I'm saying they couldn't sit in and eat, so you know, like the Lord said, he was like, okay, well, I can't eat here, okay, I'm gonna leave this here, like you know. what I'm saying, I'm like, hey, I respect that, you feel me? Cause I'm like, shit, yeah, I ain't about to like say they ain't finished just sitting there, I ain't finished just you know, saying, go on the bus and you know, saying just eat on the bus and all that, like hell. Nah. So all, you know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> this day, I, I used to hear this a two. I used to hear this a lot about the Knicks. Like they used to call the Knicks the Knickerbockers. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, wow. <laughs> I mean, at one time they was like say, damn, they're all black. You know what I'm saying? But he had to call them the Knickerbockers. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, to each his own. You feel me? But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, they were the first ones to come to the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, look at the NBA now. Like I say, damn near 90 percent black. You know what I'm saying? So, Definitely paying homage to them, you know what I'm saying? I think they all passed away, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, definitely rest in peace to all of them, you feel me? Hey, like I said, without y'all, like I said, the NBA, you know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> NBA probably still be white or majority white, you know what I'm saying? But, like I said, at the end of the day, like I said, I don't discriminate, you know what I'm saying? Like Denzel said, I don't care if you're black, green, blue, white, or orange. Like, hey, you can play, I'm putting you out there, you feel me? Like I said, yeah, that was my whole thoughts and opinions on that, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, like comment, subscribe, also share my videos, whatever you want to do, whatever you can do, I'm down with it regardless, you feel me, so, till my next video, y'all already know what it is, I'll see y'all in a minute.